yet. Not yet. <laughs> So I gotta shift it. Now go! Oh, <laughs> might have a bunch of <laughs> Watch your head, Alice. Four wheel drive works. <laughs> well, that's good when it's put in drive. Yeah. Well, Valhalla fans, today is kind of a sad day. I had to make a difficult choice, but I'm hoping in the long run it's a good one or a beneficial one. Um, everybody knows with like COVID and anything happened, a lot of people went through some hard times and stuff like that. I lost um, some time at one of my jobs where I lost a significant amount of money a week. Um, very significant. For some people, it's more than what they make a week, two weeks, and even a month that I was losing a week. Um, I know I haven't done much video content. I got a, different things here and there. I just haven't had time to get the videos edited and uploaded and so on and so forth because I've been working a lot um, with my full-time job and my part-time gig job to make ends meet as much as possible uh, especially because when the American Cares Act came out and they were authorizing people who lost wages due to COVID-19 um, to recoup some of that through unemployment and I filed for it after calling my state's uh, unemployment office up in the headquarters like up in the Capitol and everything and talking to their employees explaining my situation they told me I qualified, so when it came time for me to file, like actually file my vouchers for the week to recoup some of my lost wages, I called yet again to have walk through it with them, have them walk me through it, make sure I was filling everything out properly and correct. They told me I did everything properly and correct. I then came down to it after a while of receiving very, very low amount compared to what I lost weekly that I didn't qualify and they want all that money back and I got to pay the state all that money back that they gave me and I don't have that money um, it went towards bills and food and house and you know just basic stuff like that um, so unfortunately I guess let's just go ahead and break the bad news um, I gotta sell the truck and just the guy just left the guy just left after coming look at it um, he's very satisfied with it because as some of y'all know that know me personally or just seen pictures or what video or two I might have of the truck posted somewhere it's a clean truck I mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with it um, it's only got 68,000 miles for a technically a four-year-old truck it's a 2018 that was purchased in 2017 um, and it's like almost in November now so it's pretty much a four-year truck and it's got 68,000 miles on it. it's you know for those who haven't seen it there's kind of a quick glimpse you know, it's got this the, the lift already on it. it's got the oversized tires and rims it's you know it's got the the basic you know tough truck off-road truck whatever you want to call it uh, stance and everything to it the tires don't sit out three feet you know it's not, not a huge offset at all but yeah I um, just kind of want to give everybody an update that Valhalla is now one vehicle less um, it's unfortunate but hopefully hopefully things will get better and we can get a another truck uh, down the road and something similar to this or bigger better more family style, whatever. I know the old lady's gonna miss it. I know the kid already is gonna miss it. I told her about it. She's sad. But it was coming. It was coming. 
life just life throws wrenches sometimes and unfortunately this was a wrench that got thrown at me and I couldn't dodge it I'm not good at dodgeball so <laughs> I'm not an average Joe but yeah that's the update guys I will try to work on more videos and getting things more edited and more posted so on and so forth but like I said just kind of want to give everybody an update yeah it's kind of sad they actually loved that truck it was a great trip I know the kid and the old lady loved it we were able to have some fun in it but you know things happen but don't let, don't get down when life throws your wrenches you just best thing you gotta do you gotta try to stay as positive as possible you gotta try to make the best out of worst situations and don't be ashamed or hurt too much to do what you need to do to get through it move on or make the situation better um, and that's what I'm doing right now unfortunately I'm, I'm, just, I'm selling a truck I've only had it for two years um, it's one that I've always kind of wanted it fit pretty much everything I wanted at the time but that's how it is so thanks guys for watching my videos thanks for support inside and outside YouTube for personal people I know so on and so forth um, but things ain't over things are never over just keep that in mind keep keep pushing keep grinding keep doing you keep doing what you do best and don't ever let things in life just get you too far down to where you can't recover until the next one guys see you later so the time has come uh the the guy who purchased the truck is here he gave me the money for it gave him the keys signed over the top he's hopping in it right now getting ready to leave Make it official. There's the plate. And there it goes. It is out of here, guys. It is gone. As soon as he can get out on this road, he's gonna let uh, probably let this cop pass because he just bought it and don't have plates on it, which it's it's legal. It's still registered. Uh, Got to call my insurance company, and have them take it off uh, today. So, but yeah, it's gone. By the way, I don't endorse smoking, but there it goes.